Airplanes are one of the greatest inventions ever. They allow people to travel all over the world quickly and learn about one another. They have allowed for the formation of today's global village. As a professor of aeronautics, I know aviation has been made safer by the International Civil Aviation Organization. But recently, I learned that what are supposed to be seamlessly safe skies there is a gaping hole. This is my student, Timmy. He's from Taiwan. He's both passionate All ready for aeronautics. and intelligent. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Well, he certainly makes an impression. He was even late on the first day of class. Sorry, I'm late. I can explain that. Oh, I'm sure you have a good reason. Well, it's only the first day of, so let's let it pass. Just find a seat and we'll continue. Hey man, this guy is known for being strict. Can you still show up late? I'm Ken. I'm Timmy. I just got here from Taiwan, so I couldn't find a classroom. You're from Taiwan? My sister's an exchange student there. She brings about the food. I, I really want to get the bread away. My, my name's uh, okay, nice to meet you. Timmy. <laughs> and this here is Scott. Hi. Hi. If you have any problems, just ask us. You know, like if you can't find the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Making new friends helped Timmy to get over first day jitters and made him feel everything was going to be all right. Timmy was crazy about aviation. After class, he'd often stay and quiz me about this and that. He really asked some interesting questions, showing that he was really working hard. Oh, and one more thing. He seemed to always be at the library. So, <laughs> things were going well for Timmy, but more challenges lay in store. Well, we'll stop here for the day. Let me remind you that your reports are due in two weeks. Remember to go to the Flight Safety Association website for raw data and draft a report on the application of the National Safety Action what? Plan. The Flight Safety Association, or FSA. No idea. Uh, it's a department-run organization providing all sorts of flight safety information. And it's modeled on the International Civil Aviation Organization. You just got here, so I guess you wouldn't know about the FSA. No. Come on, I'll show you. All right, great. We have to, yeah, we have to get over here. That way. This is the FSA research room. You've got to use your student ID to get in. Oh, that's even a security system. Hey, our aviation program really lives up to its reputation. Oh yeah, man, it does. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Let's just use mine. <laughs> Are you sure you're an aeronautics student? <laughs> Come on in.
or having trouble? Yeah. How am I supposed to access Taiwan's information? Or well, Taiwan isn't listed? No. Jeez. The system must have a bug. Yeah. And you know what they say. Technology reflects Hexen. the user. Human intelligence. intelligence. <laughs> no, seriously. What are you going to do? Can you change topics? No. I'm Taiwanese. I'll write about Taiwan's participation in ICAO's activities. Well, we had better go to the department office and check if they can fix the system. Okay. Come on. Yeah. So sorry, uh, maybe I have to check with another computer. Yeah. Wait for me. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look good. It's not just a problem with the system. What gives? Now not if my card works. Uh, this is... Why can't you make it work? This is ridiculous. The FSA was set up by the aeronautics department. So, as an aeronautics student, Timmy should have the right to log into the system. Why is he being locked out? Yes, normally this is the case. But as you know, the FSA is a teaching tool based on the actual IKEO system. Their databases are linked together. Wait a moment. So you mean this is not a system problem? So you mean it doesn't exist at all? Oh, that's great. That's really great news. Sorry, because Taiwan is not a member of the IKEO. No matter what he tries, Timmy doesn't have a standing to join the FSA. I feel very sorry for you, Timmy, but I just can't do anything more. Sorry. Hey, Timmy, you want sugar or no sugar? I don't care. Oh, relax, man. I think Taiwan's contributions to flight safety make for a great report topic. So you've got to do it. You can find the information in other databases. I'll help, and so will Ilhan and Scott. You'll do fine. Relax. Thanks. Let's have dinner tonight. I'll cook. Taiwanese food? that would be great. Since he couldn't log on to the FSA system himself, it was hard for Timmy to access the information he needed. It was really hard. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. To finish his report, Timmy had to get his information elsewhere and spent a lot of extra time doing so. He still faced a long road. With hard work and a little help from his friends, Timmy finished his report. In 2012, the Taipei Flight Information Region provides 1.3 million navigation service to flights. A total of 181 passenger flight paths and 86 cargo flight paths pass through the FIR, linking 117 cities and serving 40 million passengers. In 2012, Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport was the 16th busiest for passenger traffic and 11th for cargo traffic. Taiwan is my home. While it's not big, but it plays an important role in the global flight safety network. Taiwan proactively abides by ICAO regulations. A sizable amount of money has been invested annually in implementing the Air Traffic Management Systems Plan since its launch in 2002. This plan has overcome many shortcomings of traditional navigation system in the region. This has reinforced Taiwan's importance for aviation in the Asia Pacific. Taiwan is not yet a member of ICAO, but I hope that today Everyone has seen the efforts Taiwan has made. Thank you.
this incident led me to question how seamless the global air safety network really is. For the good of people everywhere, the IKO networks should cover the entire Earth.